Angeline Yong. I'm a consultant dermatologist and dermatologic surgeon. I practice at Angeline Yong Dermatology at Clinical Medical Center. I think this really is a global trend that we sort of um, noticed over the last uh, year or so, being um, COVID year 2020, mask wearing becoming very prevalent and common um, globally speaking. We see an uptick in terms of numbers of patients uh, developing aggravation of acne in the mask occluded areas, typically which means um, cheek and sort of jawline, chin area. Um, and also patients who never had acne problems suddenly developing acne in the zones as well. Unlike traditional acne, uh, mask has a component of occlusion. So if you think about wearing something like a cloth mask or surgical mask like six to eight hours a day, you're going to get a lot of heat, moisture and dirt trapped underneath that mask. So as much as we used to say that, oh, you know, you can develop sort of acne with cosmetic use, with occlusion and occlusive products, the mask in itself is occlusive by nature. So that really adds on an extra layer and makes it much more likely for regular people to develop acne in that location. So I really, really think that it depends on the individual. So there are pros and cons of both types of masks. If you're talking about a reusable cloth mask, um, if the cloth, cloth mask fabric is very smooth, it's something that's not uh, rough and it's not occlusive, then it, it works well for some people because part of the concept about masking is that you get friction on the skin, the micro tears on the skin. So things that tend to rub against the skin a lot more tend to be a little bit more likely to induce masking. Acne can also be caused by um, sort of dirt as well. So if you're not somebody that's very habitual, very good at cleaning out your cloth mask, then maybe disposable surgical mask, single use, use it for a few hours, throw away, use a new one, might be better. I think if, with regards to masking, a key thing is to reload your skincare routine. So we try to keep it very light, very minimal in the day. And whatever creams that you need to use for either pigmentation or for like acne issues, we try to shift most of the prescription creams to the night time. I still think it's essential to use something on the skin so that the skin is not naked and the mask doesn't rub against the skin directly. So maybe in the past, somebody would be using um, a cream-based moisturizer in the daytime. It works well for the skin, which is like more, um, so I'm averagely dry, but I would probably maybe shift to a very light, more serum-based moisturizer, something that's more gel textured as well, if they're developing this problem. If the patient is going outdoors and exercising, you're going to take the mask off, obviously the sunscreen. But if they're going to be really predominantly indoors and they're working in a common sort of group setting where they can't take off the mask, not in the individual room, I might tell them to give it a miss for that day. So the less product use, even essential things that we would normally use if you're not wearing a mask, I would try to strip away that if they really have a masking problem. Hi, I'm Angeline Yong. I'm a consultant dermatologist and dermatologic surgeon. I practice at Angeline Yong Dermatology at Glenigos Medical Center. I hope you find the content useful. If there are any further questions, don't forget to follow us on AYD page as well as send us any questions that you may have. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.